God's enormous love for mankind was shown in Him sending Jesus to become a sacrifice for the sins of all mankind, for Jesus to come and suffer such immense torture at the hands of sinners to redeem us. And if we do not accept Jesus and obey Him, then we deplete the grace of God. Then there is no more grace, but only a terrible expectation of the wrath and the judgment of God. There are many believers who think that they can go on sinning. The righteous will be hardly saved. It is with difficulty that the righteous will be saved. We've got to be absolutely holy. As the Apostle Peter also wrote in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 18, And if it is with difficulty that the righteous is saved, what will become of the godless man and the sinner? We need to be absolutely holy. Without holiness, no man will see God. We cannot go on sinning. If we deliberately sin, we immediately expect the wrath of God. There is no more mercy for people who deliberately sin. We read in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26, For if we go on sinning willfully, after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin, but a certain terrifying expectation of judgment and the fury of a fire which will consume the adversaries. If you go on sinning, you will burn in the pits of hell. There is no more grace because you know what is right and if you do not obey Jesus, there's no more grace. Verse 28. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Do you understand that? Under the law of Moses, if somebody disobeyed the law and there are two witnesses, that person gets killed without mercy. He says, verse 29, how much severer punishment do you think he will deserve who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has regarded as unclean the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has insulted the Spirit of grace? If we go on sinning, then we've insulted the grace of God then we have regarded as unclean the blood of Jesus. Verse 30, For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, God will judge his people. If you belong to Jesus, he will judge you. He will not let you go. He will not leave one single sin unpunished. Not one. Verse 31, it is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of a living God. People are taught not to fear God. It is the devil that's telling them not to fear God. If you know Jesus and you know God, you will fear Him. He loved the world so much that He allowed Jesus to suffer such terrible punishment, such terrible torture. How much more do you think he will not torture those who are guilty? Jesus was innocent, but he took the pain. He took the punishment. Do you think God will excuse you, friend? He will not. Without holiness, no man will see God, and the wrath of God will come on those who keep on sinning. There will be no more grace. Grace is finished. When you come to Jesus, you stop sinning and you live holy, utterly holy, or else you've rejected the blood of Christ.
You've rejected the grace of God. Be holy. Obey Jesus. And serve Him in utter holiness. Or you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who are pure and holy will go into the kingdom of heaven. Repent and be holy. May Jesus bless you.